everybody, this is Praxis, and today is a rainy day outside, so I'm going to be doing some of the projects inside that I figured I would save until a rainy day. Uh, when it's rainy outside, I've got all my saws out there, I'm trying to keep them out there to keep the sawdust outside, so I've got lots of things that I've saved up for a day just like today, and one of them is uh, putting the tongue oil on this wall, and I'm really excited to do it because it's really going to bring the colors out of it. I just grabbed some tongue oil uh, at the hardware store. This is a much smaller container than I'm used to. Usually I'm getting the large containers of this. I don't know why they didn't have any available, but uh, it's like one of those child safe ones. Um, but, come on. Okay, I have this just in case. <laughs> a little bit of plier action here. There we go. Does that do it? Is the whole video going to be about doing this, opening it up? Problem is, there's nothing to grab onto. They got like a ridge there, and it's like you can kind of grab on with the edge of your hand a little bit. Okay, I'll try the plumbers again. Or the plumbers wrench. Yeah. Okay. Wow. The whole video is going to be about this, huh? Okay, pushing down and turning it. Is that opening? Because it feels like I'm starting to destroy the lid. Well, that's a, that, that is a wrench, but that one doesn't have teeth, so that one wouldn't engage. But thanks for bringing it over. Okay, I think we got this open now. Okay, cool. There we go. Uh, so I'm using tongue oil for this. There's all sorts of things you can use to seal it. I've used tongue oil in the past. It's usually something for wood, but um, I don't know, at one point it was all I had, and I wanted to try to get some rocks looking nice and shiny, and I tried it, and it worked out just fine. So, uh, I got my workspace all cluttered with wrenches and things. Alright, so I'm going to put my dish right there. Uh, whenever I pour stuff out, usually a little bit gets on the edge. I just clean that up with a clean brush to start off with, because then you get to use it, and it doesn't uh, kind of clog up your, uh, you know, top of your container. So I've just got a little bit here, and I'm just going to start from the top and start working my my way down here. Doing little circular swirls here, trying to work it into the concrete. You can already see right there how much color it's really going to start bringing out of these stones. Just happy rocks here. Happy rocks. I haven't watched enough Bob Ross to drop a bunch of Bob Ross references. That's about all I've got, I'm sorry. But you see, it's uh, darkening the concrete uh, overall. We've got a crystal right here. Let's see how the crystal is going to kind of come out. It's a little shiny. We've got that, that next to it. Uh, the, only, the only thing I can say about you know, the proper way to do this is you don't want it to be too cold. Uh, if I had been doing this during a sunny day, I actually would have taken the tongue oil and popped it into the solar oven and warmed it up. You know, not you know, baking it to like 300 degrees or anything like that, but I might have warmed it up so it was like 90 or 100 degrees, because that would thin the stuff out, make it go in uh, into the stone maybe a little bit easier, get drawn in. Uh, and uh, you want to make sure that when you're doing this, the wall is nice and dry. You know, this has been sitting for, for many days, and it's ready to, you know, soak up this oil. If it was moist at all, it wouldn't have wanted to accept it. But it has been dry, so it's it's taking it right up. Right. And that's what I'm just going to be doing. It's just kind of slowly going over the whole thing, trying to work it in. You don't want it to be too thick. You really want to get it worked into the, the stone there. And afterwards, you can kind of evaluate the results. And if it looks nice and shiny, you can leave it at that. Uh, or you could try to do a, a second thin coat later on. Before this video clip stops, I'm just going to hit this one here. This one's a red stone. There we go. Kind of reddish colored there. A lot of beautiful stones here, and, and the tongue oil really brings out the color of them. So that's that. We're just going to do this today. Windows are shut because it's kind of cool outside. And we're all just going to be uh, breathing in tongue oil vapors. Now, I'll open the windows in a little bit. So far, so good. That's not going to take long either. That's it. Thanks for watching.